Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. My name is Pavan Bhardwaj. In my last video, uh, I demonstrated how this Sky Watcher AZ GTI mount can be used uh, with the SynScan Pro app using a phone. Today, I'm going to add a latitude base to this mount with a counter bar and counter weight so that it can be used for astrophotography. If you are already a subscriber, thanks for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, you are most welcome. If you like the content of this channel, please consider subscribing. So let's get started. In order to convert this mount to an equatorial mount, uh, you will need the Sky Watcher Star Adventure Latitude Base or EQ Base. We'll see what is in the box and Star Adventure Counterweight Kit. You will also need uh, an M12 to M8 thread adapter because the counterweight bar has M8 thread size and the thread in the mount is M12. So we'll see how to use that. So what comes in these boxes is, this counterweight is 2.25 pounds or little over one kilogram. So let's see what is in this box. This is a latitude base. Uh, it has a latitude scale on it, a knob to adjust the latitude and two knobs here to adjust the azimuth. It also comes with a key, a hex key that you can use to adjust further fine adjustment of the latitude uh, using these two bolts here. There's a bubble level on this latitude base and this saddle all comes with an adapter. Unscrew this. This adapter goes in here. This safety screw ensures that the mount and the scope on top of the mount doesn't accidentally fall down. This is a warranty. Unfortunately, there is no user manual. In order to convert this mount into an equatorial mount, there are two things we need to do. Number one, attach the mount to the latitude base. And number two, upgrade the motor controls software or firmware. To start with, I will remove the mount from the tripod and then attach the latitude base. We got to remove this. This is a part of the extension pier. I'll move the camera closer so you can see. First, this saddle base is to be attached at the bottom of the mount. If you notice, there is a screw here, safety screw, and the tip of the screw sits in one of these grooves so that uh, when it is attached, it doesn't move. So align the screw to this groove, one of this groove, and tighten this bolt first with hands. And if you move it slightly, the screw will sit here. And then you can use the key, hex key that comes with the latitude base to tighten it. So once this is done, we will simply slide it over to this and tighten it. Next, uh, I can set the latitude base according to my location. For your location, you can uh, Google it and find out. For my area, it is uh, about 44 degrees. So there's a scale here. There's a knob, loosen it this way 
and move the knob clockwise to set your altitude. Okay, when done, lock it again. So this part is done. Next we will attach the mount to the tripod. Some people keep the extension pier, but I would prefer to remove this and attach the mount directly to the tripod. This will ensure more stability to the mount. So there's a three by eight thread here and this is a three by eight bolt. So we have a problem here, this will not work. You got to remove this and replace it with a hex screw. I don't know the number, I think it is M6 or M8, I'm not sure. But I had that in, in my bag, <laughs> anyways. It's very difficult to remove it now. That's good now. The next part is to attach the counterweight. So first we will attach a thread to the counterweight bar. When you do that, make sure the cut here, let me show you here. The, there's a cut here. Make sure it is on the outside, outside. So tomorrow, if you have to remove it, you can do it easily. So that means it goes outwards like this. The cut is downwards. You will need a screwdriver to remove that. So this is a safety bolt to ensure that the counterweight accidentally, if it is loose, it doesn't fall down. Next, we will attach the scope back. So you can loosen the screw and bring the scope to its proper position. So after this is complete, the mount becomes a German equatorial mount. Next, uh, we have to update the motor controller software in the mount. This part will be done on the computer. On the Skywatcher website, go to support and click software and firmware. Click motor controllers on the left side. We need two files. First is Windows program motor controller firmware loader Wi-Fi version 1.80. So download that. Go down and we need the second file, which is firmware AZ GTI mount right arm AZ EQ dual mode version 3.4. We need that file. Uh, there's a warning on this paragraph. So Skywatcher is warning you that even after you download the software and update your uh, mouse motor controller firmware, uh, they do not guarantee performance of the AZ GTI mount. Let's see where are the files. So we have two files here. I'll move these files to my desktop. You can keep them here. So go to desktop, double click and it will get extracted to a own folder. Go back and double click the AZ, AZ GTI motor controller firmware. This will also be extracted. So let me extract these files, extract all. Now I'll connect to the SynScan Wi-Fi. So disconnect the home network so that accidentally the computer is not connected back to the home network. Otherwise the loading will be disrupted. So connect to SynScan, make sure it is on and the light is blinking. Right. Connected. So launch the MC firmware loader this is your dialog box. Browse for the file on the desktop and click update. Trying to connect to a motor controller. It's uploading. The new firmware, the new firmware is uploading. It takes just a few seconds. Update complete, turn off power. 
So we have to turn off the mount. My computer was connected to SynScan. Now it is automatically disconnected. So let's turn on the power again and connect back to SynScan Wi-Fi. SynScan connect. Connected. If I go back to the dialog box, motor controller firmware loader dialog box and click on MC version. There you go. The firmware is updated. It is showing now 3.40.A5. So the motor controller firmware has now been updated. That's all you need to do to update the firmware. Now, let me go to the SynScan Pro app on my iPad. So let me connect my iPad now to SynScan Wi-Fi. You can connect multiple devices to SynScan Wi-Fi. But uh, when you are operating the mount, make sure you use only one device, either iPad or your computer or your phone to operate the mount. Otherwise, there may be some problems. Connected, SynScan Pro, location updated. Connect to mount. You can see we have two modes now. Alt AZ mode and equatorial mode. If the motor controller firmware is older than 3.20, then the SynScan app shows only the Alt AZ mode. After updating the firmware, the Alt AZ and equatorial mode both are shown. So let me go to equatorial. So now when I use the mount, it will operate in equatorial mode. So that's all for today. Uh, see you next time.